Hello Skiller fans, today we will analyse an odd style, something that defies the norm, yet has proven remarkably effective against all challengers, all 19 of them not being able to finish the fight. We're talking about the unconventional style of Subriel Matias. Without a doubt, one of the most damaging boxers in boxing right now. But why do we call his style unconventional and why has it worked so well so far? Well, let's start with his boxing stance. Boxing stance. Subriel capitalizes on his height and reach advantage by standing tall. He typically starts his fights with a high guard, but the key word here is start, because that's not where it usually ends. As he gains confidence, his arms drop, and he adopts a squared hands down stance, launching his punches from below. This is the first reason his style is so unconventional. He doesn't merely drop his hands to taunt his opponents, like some boxers do for short periods. He will actually box from that hands down stance for long periods of his fights. Now let's get into Subriel's best skills. Skills. Combinations and flurries. First, it is really important to highlight what we consider the base of his style and what makes it so unconventional. Subriel doesn't throw combinations like most fighters. And Anyan trying to back to the body, and you could just see the body language on him apart. Just looked absolutely tremendous, and there's a big left hook. Here's a side by side comparison of Canelo Alvarez. Oh, and a big body shot! And Subrail Matias throwing combinations so you can see the difference. Forget what we mentioned at the time. The key difference is what we call arm punches versus waist punches. Arm punches involve little waist movement, but a lot of shoulder movement. while waist punches involve a lot of waist movement and little shoulder movement. You can let us know if you'd like a more in-depth breakdown of arm and waist punches. But back to the breakdown. The advantage it gives Subriel is that he does not have to use much his waist to throw punches. He also does not need much space to punch on the inside. That allows him to throw a lot of combinations by just creating a little space in situations where his opponents think they are safe. He has him hurt. There's a big left hook lining up to Gambayev. Sometimes he will unleash long flurries at great speed while fighting in the pocket. Now Matias scoring. I would expect him to be a oh, left hook. He landed the left there. That way of punching also gives him a lot of accuracy, as he can control better the trajectory of the punch and really aim where he wants to connect. from a lot of these shots from Matias, and now Matias. Jab. Due to his incredible combinations and pressure fighting, sometimes his jab gets unnoticed, but it could very well be his best skill. We can break it down into three variations. The jab from the high guard, the downstairs jab, and the swivel or jumping jab. The jab from the high guard is the one he uses at the start of his fights. What makes it so good is not really the technique but the timing. You will notice him waiting for his opponent to throw his jab while maintaining the high guard. Then he perfectly times his jab right at the same moment his opponent throws his. 
Consistently connect with the jab. Nick Matias is now an Anya. And you can as he carries the reach advantage and throws it so effortlessly, he usually comes out on top of the exchanges, especially when he doubles up on it. A lot of damage here in round nine. The second jab, and this is a dangerous weapon, is the downstairs jab. The standout feature here is the incredible speed at which he lands it. And how good he sets it up. Usually, he closes the distance first. And from the low guard, he catches his opponents off guard. Yes. Lastly, there's the swivel or jumping jab. Matias, there's a big left hook! That... He usually uses it when falling short with the backhand. He is staying composed. So he can create an extra reach with the swivel jab, surprising his opponents. A lot of times, you will see him just jumping and lunging himself with that jab. Yeah, I'll keep him up. Oh, there's a nice... Pressure. One of his most apparent skills is the relentless pressure he applies by throwing what we call arm punches and not committing his entire weight to load and throw his punches, he doesn't spend much energy, allowing him to maintain a relentless pace throughout the whole fight. As Matias comes forward. Digging to the body downstairs. And Matias plots forward. But he got lit up. But cannot get behind by a significant margin. There's a left hook to the body by Matias. Matias. There's a right to the body. His high volume output is supported by his formidable punching power. His good conditioning and strong chin also enables him to walk down his opponents without taking a step back. However, this relentless approach also has its downsides. Flaws. Careless. While his relentless pressure is one of his best skills, it is also the reason to what we consider his biggest flaw. He doesn't care about getting punched. It's important to clarify, not overreacting to punches is a great skill. The problem is not reacting at all. Subriel sometimes seems too tough for his own good. His exceptional chin and punch resistance lead to him getting careless when defending. As his confidence grows, he tends to drop his hands and absorb unnecessary punches. There's also a psychological aspect to consider. The intimidation factor of someone who keeps marching forward with hands down and not flinching in response to your punches. But we would love to know your opinion. What do you personally think of his style? Too reckless? Too dangerous? Or is it precisely what makes him so effective? Let us know in the comments.